We are given a triangle inside the circle. The sides of the triangle are 13, 14, and 15. And we are to find the radius of the circle. Now, solution. Let us give names to all the points to make our work easier. Let us call these points A, here B, and here C. And let us call the center of that circle O. Now, next, let us draw a line from C to touch line AB. Let us call that point D. This triangle is a right triangle, ACD, and this is another right triangle, CDB. AB is 14 units. Suppose AD is X, so DB will be 14 minus X. Line CD is the height of this triangle. Let us call it H. Now, let us find the height of this right angle triangle ACD. To find the height of this triangle ACD, we will be using Pythagoras theorem, which states that the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the square of the other two sides. In triangle ACD, we will have AC squared equals to CD squared plus AD squared. AC is 13, CD is H, AD is X. So we are going to have 13 squared equals to H squared plus X squared. Now let us move X squared to this side of the equation. We will have H squared equals to 169 minus X squared. Now let us call that first equation, equation 1. Similarly, let us also use Pythagoras theorem to find the height of triangle DCB. For triangle DCB, we will have BC squared equals to CD squared plus BD squared. So when we substitute the values, we have 15 squared equals to H squared plus the bracket of 14 minus X squared. When we solve for that, we have 225 equals to H squared plus X squared minus 28X plus 196. Let's move the numbers on this side to these other sides of the equation. So we will have H squared equals to 225 minus 196 minus X squared plus 28X. So H squared will be equal to 29 minus X squared plus 28X. Now let us call that equation 2. If you take note, equation 1 and equation 2 both have the same left-hand side, which is H squared. So, now let us compare the two right sides of equation 1 and equation 2. So, we will have 169 minus X squared equals to 29 minus X squared plus 28X. So, X squared will cancel X squared. We move 29 to this side of the equation. So, we will have... 28x equals to 169 minus 29. So we will have 28x equals to 140. Now, when we divide both sides by 28, x will be equal to 5 units. So since we have two sides, we have to find out the height of triangle ACD. So let us substitute x into equation 1. So we have H squared equals to 169 minus 5 squared, the X we found. So, so we have H squared equals to 169 minus 25. So H squared equals to 144. Now we take the square root of both sides. So H will be equal to 12 units. Now let us call this point E. And let us connect point C with point E. Let us also connect point E to point B. Next, let me tell you of a theorem called Tell's theorem. It states that when two points form the diameter of a circle, any third point on the circle will form a right angle with them. That is, angle on a semicircle is always 90 degrees. So here, CE is the diameter. This point B will be a right angle. That is 90 degrees. Next, we will apply another theorem which says if you have two triangles inside a circle and the two triangles have the same external arc, the angles opposite that arc will be the same. That is congruent. Triangle CAB and triangle CEB have the same arc CB. 
So they are congruent. Triangle CAB and triangle CEB are congruent. Let us call this angle X. And let us also call this angle X. So we will have the ratio of CE all over BC equals to AC all over CD. Now, CE is unknown. BC is 15. AC is 13. And CD is 12. So, let us find CE. Now, we cross multiply. When we cross multiply, we have CE equals to 16.25. 16.25 is the diameter of the circle. And radius is half the diameter. So, for us to find the radius, we have to divide 16. 0.25 by 2 and that will give us 8.125 units so the radius of this circle is 8.125 units if you have gained value in this lesson kindly like share and subscribe to my youtube channel thank you for watching